Hi, my name's Phil, I like to talk about politics. In this video, I'd like to take a look at one of the predictions for how Brexit would affect the economy and just have a little check to see how it matched up now that we are several years on and we've got actual data. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So back in 2015, 2016, one of the elements of so-called Project Fear was that we would all be worse off if we voted for Brexit economically. And one figure that was widely reported was from the Cameron-led government saying that each household would be £2,200 worse off by 2020 if we voted Brexit. Well, we voted Brexit and it's now 2020. So how are things looking? So back in, just before the, the Brexit referendum, back in 2016, the Office for Budgetary Responsibility forecast growth for the following few years. So that forecast was 2% growth for 2016, 2.2% 2 .2 for 2017, 2.1% for 2018, same again for 2019, and then again for 2020, although obviously we can't really compare that because 2020 hasn't finished. Also, <laughs> it's not just that we can't judge the 2020 because it hasn't actually finished. If we're going to be fair, and we must always be fair, there's more than just Brexit assailing the economy this particular year. But the previous few years have been completed with known figures and no little creepy bugs to, well, interfere with any of it. So in 2016, for comparison, there was actually 1.9% growth. Well, that was 0.1% down. Not a great deal roundabout. You would say not far off, but it was still down. Um, in 2017, it was 1.9% 1 again, but that represented a much lower 0.3% uh, compared with how it should have grown. Um, what did we have in 2018? We had 1.3% growth. That represented a much meatier drop of 0.8% than the predicted growth. And then 2019 saw 1.4% overall. Remember, that was buoyed at the start of the year with all the stockpiling and, uh, you know, at the end of the year, basically zero growth. But overall, 1.4%, which was 0.7% lower than predicted growth before we voted Brexit. So that means that our growth four years into the Brexit process is 3.2% lower than it should have been had we not voted for Brexit. So let's remind ourselves that what the claim was that each UK household would be £2,200 worse off at this point if we voted for Project Fear. <laughs> um, the value of our GDP, according to the latest figures, is currently £2.15 billion pounds, with 27.6 million households in the UK that essentially means a GDP per household of £77,800. Obviously, that is much higher than the median wage, but that's because our wealth distribution absolutely stinks. But never mind that. David Cameron doesn't care about that anyway. That's the value of GDP per household, not the same as GDP per capita. Now, if it were 3.2% higher, as the pre-Brexit forecast said it should have been, then that would translate into a loss per household of just under £2,500. So the prediction was voting Brexit would leave each household £2,200 poorer. The actual figure now that we've lived those times says 2500 which gives it a few hundred pounds leeway for any other things that may have knocked the economy that weren't Brexit related. But sure, project fear. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.